Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be starting a new series on computer architecture and this is basically MIPS architecture that we're going to be talking about as we'll be taking this as a basis. So MIPS architecture is a 32-bit architecture uh, and it's basically assembly language in, written in MIPS and um, well what's an assembly language and what's the significance of it? So basically when you write this piece of code in C or Java, uh, then what happens is you, the code is converted to assembly language. Uh, it could be any, it could be MIPS or whatever. So it, it's converted to assembly language and then uh, uh, the, that assembly language is that assembly language is converted by the compiler to assembly language and that assembly language is converted to machine code by the assembler. So yeah, so we're going to be talking about how the assembly language works, MIPS assembly language works, and how uh, all the instructions are, uh, what kind of instruction sets are there. So a MIPS memory uh, is a 32, uh, a MIPS word is 32 bits of 4 bytes. So every every uh, instruction increments by 4, 4 bytes, 4 bits. So 0, 4, 8, 12. And then every register holds 32 bits of data. Right, so well, this is the instruction, these are the instruction form formats in uh, <clears throat> MIPS. So you have uh, the R format, the I format, and the J format. The R format is like the basic ad addition, multiplication, uh, and all that. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and I format. And also shift, uh, shift, shifting, uh, multiplication and shifting related instructions. The I format is basically the branching and the... the uh, the branching and the loading and storing the word uh, and the jump instruction is basically just for jumping like jump to this jump to that and all all right so as you can see there are 32 registers 0 to 31 there's a program counter which increments the pro uh, the instruction uh, the program like it goes to the next instruction and it, it's uh, incremented by 4 by addition of 4 because because as as we have seen before mips is 4 by uh, mips has 4 bytes of data so uh, and the high and low are basically for multiplication instructions, which we'll be seeing later on. The high contains the higher order bits, and the low contains the lower order bits, so the LSB and the MSB. Right, so, um, and instructions like registers and words of data are 32 bits long, as we have uh, seen before. So this is how a basic R format instruction is. In R format, as you can see, there's an opcode, then there is RS, and there's RS, RT, and RD. What are these? RS is like the source, uh, and RD, uh, RS is the source one, and RT is the source two, and RD is the destination register. And these are all, as you can see, opcode op, op is basically what is the operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and all that. So there's a code, specific code. As you can, as you know, like in computers, everything is known by binary digits. So of course, the addition and subtraction are all recognized by binary codes. So these are the opcodes for that specific operation. And RS is like the register for the first source operand, which is five bits. RT is uh, the second source operand, which is 5 bits, and also destination is also 5 bits, uh, and uh, uh, for the destination op uh, for the destination uh, register. These are just register uh, registers, and the reason that they are 5 bits is because, as we have said before, uh, the instruction is fi uh, 32 bits. So 32 bits, as you know, in binary. So there is in binary we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So when you add these all up, we get 32. So when you add these all up, we get 30. Sorry, not 32. We get 31. And we know that 2 to the power 5 is 32. That's why 5 bits. We're using 5 bits of registers. The 5 bits of registers can hold 32 bits of data. And we have the 5 bits for shift amount. For These are for shift instructions. And these are for function code. Right. So this is how the basic register file in the MIPS. Uh, in MIPS, uh, as you can see, this is the source address. We said it's five bits. Source uh, source address one, source address two. These are all addresses, not the data. The data is basically these. The 32-bit data is basically the ones that are coming out from here. But these are just the address. Th these uh, five bits just contain the address of the of the what you call the registers. So source one address is in five bits. Source two address is in five bits, and destination address is in 5 bits. So we have two read ports. These are the read ports and one write port. Write, read port is basically, the write port is basically writing the data 
and report is basically just reading. What, what do this signify? Like for example, if you have an instruction that's like this, sorry, um, yeah, if you have an instruction that's like this, add, add dollar um, one, dollar two, and dollar three. All right, so suppose you have an instruction like this, add dollar one, dollar two, and dollar three. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're adding whatever is in dollar two and dollar three and we're storing it in dollar one. We're storing it in dollar one. So this is the destination. Right. So it, what would what would be happening in here? What would be happening? What would, what codes would be put in here? So for dollar three, we would put we would put uh, what you call for for example op. Suppose op is uh, like we're just keeping it empty, optional. And for RS, which is the first operand, first operand is what dollar two. So dollar two, how would you write it in binary? Um, one, two, four, eight, sixteen. We have five bits. So dollar two, we have to write one here, and then zero. The rest will be zero. So for this, we would write. Let me just erase that. Right. So for this one, the the code that we'll have in RS is zero zero. 0, 1, 0. So this is RS. And what would be for RT? RT is dollar three. So we would have one one zero zero zero. So zero 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 one one. This would be R T. And for R D, what would be for R D? R D is dollar one. So we would have just this and the rest will be zero. So for R D the code will be uh, I don't have space here, so I'm just writing it here. Zero 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 one. This would be for R D. And then shift amount. We don't have any shift operation here, so th those will be zero. Function will also be zero. So those will be the rest will be zero zero. Right. So as you can see, the opcode. If you have the opcode, if you know the opcode, then you could just write it, or you could just keep it empty for. Like, you, know, you could just write op here if you don't know the opcode for addition. And then R S. We would ha write the register file the registers uh, binary conversion over here RT also the registers binary conversion and in RT the registers binary conversion right so that's about that's all about uh, R type and uh, I'll be discussing the, the next the next two instructions in the next video so stay tuned goodbye